It's prayer time in Muscat Oman. At first glance, nothing seems unusual here. But this is very different from what you see in many other mosques in the Muslim world. In Oman, Ibadiyya Islam is the dominant faith, and they pray side by side with other Islamic sects. Very different because the Ibadi, whose worship dates back to the 7th century, are traditionally regarded by the Muslim world's dominant Sunnis as khawarij, meaning outcasts to Islam. We are here now in Asma Mosque. It's a Sunni mosque, but Sheikh Muhammad is an Abadi. I have friends from any sex. We, I have friends in Shia and Sunnis. And when we sit together, we talk about the similarities we have. And we talk about the future. And we talk about our country, how we can uh, go forward on this. And we keep also the strong relationship between us. And we keep also the... The, the, the society, that they can live together. While he prayed at noon in the Sunni mosque, Sheikh Muhammad took his night prayers at the Ibadi Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. Historically, there have been tensions between the sects across the Muslim world, even violence. Yet you don't see this here. There's no history of violence between the denominations. Ahmad Uthman, a news anchor in Oman and a Sunni, says the government ensures opportunities in all denominations. What the government is doing is um, giving opportunities to all sectors. Uh, they don't, they don't like keep or block opportunities from Shi'i, for example, or from Sunnis or from Abadi. So everybody can work everywhere. And even in high positions, you have ministers, Abadis, you have Sunnis, you have Shi'is. <laughs> This unique approach to faith has created what many considered to be perhaps one of the most stable countries in the Middle East. A society that chooses to focus more on what unites them rather than what divides them.